Hey kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today I want to do a, it's not a review, but maybe a spotlight of the first knife I've ever bought. So this was at a time I didn't know what EDC was. I didn't know what was an EDC knife. I didn't even know what was good for me. I just found the coolest knife on Blade HQ and I bought this. So this is the knife that I bought. This is a Mantis Bali Song. Oops, let's try that again. This is a Mantis Bali Song Karambit. Yes, so why did I buy Crumbit? Well, uh, Crumbits are a very common weapon used in martial arts here in Southeast Asia. And it just had such a nice cool factor. I mean, come on, how is this not cool? This sounds, if there was such a thing as a shotgun like cocking in the knife roll, this is what it would be. This is what it would sound like. So let's just talk about the features right here. We have here a little ring for your finger, which is where the, which is like, uh, like any typical Crumbit, this is where you hold it like that. It is a button lock, so you press this and com and it's completely free swinging. I'm not sure if it's running on bearings or... Yeah, it's running on uh, bronze washers. Yeah, so this guy is running on bronze washers on both sides. So that explains the smoothness right here. The lock right here engages through this little thing right here. It just uh, clicks in like that to disengage. You just press that and then it disengages. It has a pocket clip. Here I have what I believe are G10 scales or maybe the FRN. I'm not so sure anymore guys. And then we have here the hawk bill itself or the karambit blade itself. Very sickle shape, very, very arced, very curved. It does have a little harpoon right here. You can see right there for, for, for extra pointiness. It has some jimping up top here. Some pretty good jimping I gotta say. A little bit sharp on the edges but overall good amount of grip. And it has a sharpening trial, although I've never sharpened this guy. I never, and I don't think I ever will sharpen this guy. It has a pocket clip that's a really bad pocket clip. So yeah, let's just get into all the other things I want to talk about this knife. Like what I like about it and what I don't like about it. First thing, what I do like about it is that it's just a fun action. Just go like, cut up. Sorry, let's try that again. I haven't done this in a while. You go, cut up. And it just sounds like a cocking shotgun or whatever. It's just really nice. It definitely has a cool factor when you whip it out. Every knife person and non-knife person I've shown this to has gone like, wow, what is that? And it's just really fancy. Another thing I really like about it is that the ergonomics are actually quite nice. You, ho you hold it in the back like this, your ergonomics are really nice. You know, my, my thumb doesn't really have a place to rest because it, it's not full here. So it's kind of floating up a little bit, but the rest of your fingers actually grip this quite well. And you can use this uh, in any way that you need to. I can even hold it in a forward grip like so and this is actually even more comfortable because my, my fingers lay ex uh, fall exactly into these uh, finger grooves right here and then my thumb can actually have little, actually has a little space up here for me to grip and use that jimping. Very nice, very nice. And then you also get a nice secure grip because of this, uh, not sorry, not lanyard hole, this finger hole right here. And then you can have it and then you can use it. Uh, the, the blade shape just looks fantastic. You got the little harpoon right here, uh, gives it a nice nice very sharp point right there we have uh, i don't even know what blade steel this is to be honest could be it's not even marked stainless steel 144 i don't know it's maybe a 44a or something like that and it hasn't rusted so it's a sign that it has good corrosion resistance again i've never really carried this guy so don't take my word for it you have a lot of cutting edge here for the length of the blade because of this curve that goes down like that so bada bing bada boom uh, the insides of these uh, of this finger hole here is nice and rounded, so it's not it's not exactly sharp in here, which is always good. That means it's going to be relatively comfortable in your hand like that. Then, but these parts here, well, these parts are a little bit sharp, but your fingers never really go into there. So, uh, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, the insides of this G10 is uh, a little sharp, but not too bad, and the edges here are rounded, quite nice. The grip itself is very nice. And one of the best things about this knife is that see, crumbits have this. Uh, odd feature which is um, okay okay so firstly they are bad EDC tools let's just get that out of the way but if you use them for their initial purpose which is self-defense you can either just hold it like this and then you hold your fist up like this and then just jab okay just as if you would if you were a boxer so that takes very little skill anyone can can jab or box uh, but if you have some training then you can use all these like very fancy uh, these very intricate movements that you can use with crumbits, but the fact of the matter is you can use it whether you have wh Whether or not you have low amount of martial arts skill or a high amount of martial arts skill And I think that is uh, the great thing about crumbit not necessarily this crumbit by the way Do not get into knife fights knife fights are nasty business. I've never been in one I don't plan to be in one and I've never used this in such a way uh, I only keep this at the house so keep that in mind 
So, uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I don't like about this. First of which is that uh, this is a balisong karambit, meaning that it is a butterfly karambit. And then, although you can flick it open, because of the button lock, because of this little piece right here, you can't flick it back necessarily and it won't lock because the clip is on this side. So, you can easily lock it like that, but it's definitely a two-hand locking knife. Okay, I personally, I, I only know very few Bali song or butterfly knife tricks and I can't use any of them on this knife because it's so unorthodox. It is not symmetrical, that's one. Number two, sometimes when you spin this, you can kind of get back at you like that and just something I want to avoid. Uh, another thing about this, uh, this knife right here is that I don't know how, but I don't know if you can see it there. There is a crack in the blade and the crack is all the way around. See, look at that. That crack is all the way around. I'm not sure what happened. I did not drop this guy. I've only kept it in the drawer of my house. I just took it out one day to just flip it for fun. And then I discovered that. So I do not know where that came from. Another thing I really don't like about this knife is the pocket clip. So uh, the button here is on this side. So you can hold it like this. You can flip it out. You can also flip it out like this if you have enough skill. You can flip the, uh, the the clip on the other side, but being a right-hander, I want to hold this on my right-hand side. And if you flip it to this side, this pocket clip is actually quite sharp. It creates a pretty 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 bad hot spot in your hand if it's on the other side right there. I can show it with this hand right here. If I really grip it down, the edges of this clip really dig into your hand. So really not liking that pocket clip. Actually, this knife would run fine without the pocket clip. So. I don't know, if I ever carry this round, which I don't, I would just remove this. Uh, last thing about this knife right here is that it is just, it's just a bad knife. It's not good for its intended purpose, not good for its non-intended purpose either. It is not a very good uh, EDC knife. You don't have a lot of useful cutting edge with this. It's very hard to use the rest of this blade other than the tip. You can do any kind of like cutting, like suspended cutting, but if you're cutting up on the board, you just get the tip. You want to cut up a box, you're just going to get the tip. You can't do any kind of slicing cuts or whatever with this knife. I guess you can do these kind of carving cuts if you want to, but I'm not much of a push crafter and I don't do any kind of carving, so that's not gonna be very helpful for me. In terms of being a self-defense tool, yeah, this is pretty bad. Uh, I personally have been doing martial arts for a few years and uh, from my studies, uh, I have come to the realization or the understanding that when you're getting attacked, you want as little complication as possible. You wanna be able to fight your way out of there if you have any kind of self-defense tool maybe you have a, a, a pen or whatever anything you want to use you've got to be able to pull it out immediately and then use it to your own advantage to get yourself out of trouble as quickly and as simply as possible but to pull this guy out to flick it open like this sometimes it won't even lock and then you gotta flip it around to grab it it just takes too much time and just makes for a bad self-defense tool which is why i've never carried this uh it's a bad edc knife it is a bad uh, it, it is a bad self-defense tool and yeah at the end of the day this is just it, it represents a time in my life where I didn't know much about something but I just bought something because it looked cool okay guys hope you guys enjoyed that video uh, and hope you guys enjoy staying at home because we're still in the middle of the CMO thing uh, movement control order or something like that so please stay safe please wash your hands please take care of your health and the ones around you and don't forget to always stay ready